You are working in a company producing orange juice by thermal treatment. Your manager asks you to explore the possibility of using new technology to produce the juice. One of your colleagues who is expert in food technology suggests in exploring the possibility of using ohmic heating. What you need to know first? The benefits and advantages of using ohmic heating technology. This video is going to explain the main advantages of ohmic heating. The main advantage of the ohmic heating is its rapid and uniform heating. It is due to its volumetric heating since heat is generated internally. Fast and uniform heating is the main cause of quality improvement in the ohmic heating process. The evidence of additional non-thermal effects of electricity used in ohmic heating in addition to thermal effect is inadequate. In this diagram, food is filled inside an ohmic heating tube and voltage V is applied. It causes the flow of current high. This results food to be heated fast and uniformly since current is flowing through all regions of food. The rapid and uniform heating is the main reason to achieve better sensory quality and low loss of nutrients. In a solid liquid mixture, higher temperature in particulates than liquid can be achieved, which is difficult to gain in conventional heating. Is there any additional effect within the applied voltage and the current applied? It is a common question whether ohmic heating provides additional electrical effect on microbial inactivation. Hall and Trout in 1968 stated that some studies had concluded that there was no additional effect of electricity on the bacterial killing other than the effect of heat generated by electric current. It is still clearly known whether there is a separate electrical effect, if any, in addition to thermal effects on the bacterial lethality. Conventional heating is the surface heating. This could be understood clearly in this example. A cylindrical shaped food is placed on a hot plate. Heat transfer starts from the bottom surface and conducts heat to the top surface. In order to achieve any desired F value, the bottom surface needs to be exposed for a longer time since the coldest point is the top surface. In this case, surface burning is the main problem of this type of heating in the case of cooking, when we don't want surface burning. We can consider convection heating as well. We can place a cubicle food in a hot air. In this case, heat is transferred from the surface to the interior of the cube. The center of the cube would be a cold point. From these two examples, we could understand the conventional surface heating process, which is non-uniform and temperature gradient exists in the food. As mentioned earlier, ohmic heating is volumetric heating, that is heating uniformly all over the region. One point I need to mention here, in the case of many food products such as fried chicken and pizza, we want some degree of surface burning in order to make these foods crispy. Thus, avoidance of food surface burning is not desired in all cases. In this example of a heat exchanger, we could observe the hot surface on the inside boundary of the product tube as compared to the center of the tube. Therefore, there could be surface burning of the product and this could cause fouling. Fouling could cause two more issues. One is the low heat transfer due to fouling and it would be difficult to clean at the end of the process. In contrast, there is low risk or issue of fouling or burning in the case of ohmic heating since no heating surface is used. 
that is internal heating. Therefore, minimal damage with low loss of nutrients and vitamins can be achieved. Ohmic heater cleaning requirements are comparatively easy than traditional heat exchangers since there is no fouling. In addition, ohmic heating setup is easy to dismantle. As I mentioned earlier, the improved quality of ohmic heating is the fast and uniform. We could understand from the graph showing temperature as a function of heating time. In this conventional heating, the processing time including come up time is 248 seconds. Whereas in the case of ohmic heating, the required processing time is 102 seconds. In this example, processing time could be reduced 2.4 times. The time of ohmic heating depends on many factors. I'll explain these factors in another video. However, applied voltage is one of the important factors. I am going to explain it in the next slide. In this graph, we could observe that heating time could be reduced from 220 second to 90 second and 40 second when applied voltage is increased from 5 volt per centimeter to 10 volts per centimeter and then 15 volt per centimeter respectively. Therefore, higher the applied voltage, faster the heating process. High energy efficiency can be achieved because 90 percent of the electrical energy could be converted into heat. Energy consumption of ohmic heating was measured as 4.6 to 5.3 times lower than the traditional heating. Energy efficiency depends on the applied voltage that is volt per centimeter. Energy efficiency decreases exponentially and remains to a nearly constant value with the increase of processing time. <coughs> time to reach constant value increases with the decrease of voltage gradient that is volt per centimeter. Therefore, higher the applied voltage, higher the energy efficiency. In addition, energy efficiency decreases exponentially with the decrease of moisture content. Higher voltage shifted the curve up with the increase of applied voltage. Other advantages of ohmic heating. Low capital cost. It needs lower capital cost as compared to other electroheating processes. It reduces maintenance cost since there is no moving parts. Easy process control. It provides easier process control with instant switch on and shut down. Gentle to the products. It is possible to use large particulate foods up to 1 inch when it would be difficult to process using conventional heat exchangers. No mixing is required since temperature gradient within the system is low. Gentle handling of particulates with no need of mechanical mixing as used in the scrap surface heat exchangers where a moving shaft is used to improve the heat transfer by mixing. Environmental friendly due to its low energy requirement and high energy efficiency. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end and supporting our channel.